new tonight at six as well. Quick action needed. The St. Augustine Municipal Marina has been damaged by repeated storms. We're not just talking about hurricanes Matthew and Irma. That's right. We're talking more recent than that. Jessica Clark takes us out into the docks to show us the damage to the marina, which is a revenue source for the city. Well, the story begins with Hurricane Dorian and it actually damaged part of the dock that we're standing on right now. Which that was last fall. Sam Odukowicz is the harbor master for the St. Augustine Municipal Marina. We've uh, had a lot more boats than we usually have during the winter. The marina is a popular spot for boaters and a moneymaker for the city. It's right next to the Bridge of Lions. And when we repaired this dock in January, we discovered other areas that needed repair as well. And then this happened. Friday morning, February 21st strong nor'easter. And that was an unusually strong nor'easter. A nor'easter showed just how weakened the dock had become. Um, we had winds 35 to 40 miles an hour for 36 hours. It's hard to see the damage by just walking on the dock. You have to really look. Well, this small crack here that you, it looks small on the top actually goes all the way through the wood and the piece of wood is actually 15 inches. It's not good. Well, it's not good because all of these are structural members on the dock. And these cracks during a storm part. The dock itself was moving like a serpent. The northern dock, called the breakwater, has done what it's designed to do to stop a storm's rough water. Before it gets over to this side of the marina and damages the marina. But Adukowit says it needs work before hurricane season. We're talking about a substantial amount of dock. The breakwater is 930 feet, including both the west and the east ends and repairs represent about a third of those damaged boards. And it could be up to $250,000. The city commission has signed off on that funding to fix the marina as soon as possible. Work should begin next week and should be completed by June, just in time for hurricane season. Got to be done. We can't not do it. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.